Jumalang guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Renee Slake, I also go by the name Reni. Whichever one you can pronounce, it's fine by me. If you guys are new to my channel, we do anything creative, home living, makeovers, renovations, DIYs, app cycles. If that is for you, don't forget to click the subscribe button. It's free of charge. They don't charge you anything for that. And then if you are returning, Sabi, welcome back, family. Welcome back. So this week, it's been a while since I have done a room makeover. And I'm bringing you guys a room makeover. However, this room makeover is going to have a plot twist. What is a plot twist? We are going to be spending zero amount of money on this room makeover. We are going to be making over this room to be our office. So this is going to be our off home office makeover. So... Yes, I will disclose the fact that I want this to be an office slash guest bedroom, but we're not addressing the guest bedroom part of this makeover in this video, not even this year, maybe next year we'll do that. But for now, all I want this room to function as is an office, I need a place where I'm going to edit, I need a place to work. But however, I do not want to spend money because like I always say, I am saving up for a kitchen renovation. So where I can save my buck, I must save it. Okay, so we're spending zilch on this makeover. We're trying to get away with using all the things that we have. I will say this for one. This is possible for me because I've made over a lot of rooms in my home, painted a lot of walls, I've DIY'd a couple of things. So obviously I have a lot of things to my disposal. So for you, maybe you might have to spend a few, um, like a little bit of money, but Obviously, I just wanted this to be a fun thing on my channel where I don't spend money because maybe you also have been taking the motivation and renovating and making over a couple of things in your room and DIYing a couple of things in your home. And maybe you also do have these things. And I think if I'm going to be sharing a few tips and a few hacks and all the kind of things so I can make this affordable for you if you're not like me and you don't have these things to your disposal. So do not click out of this video because of that. Stay tuned because I am going to share a lot of hacks that are going to help you make over room for less basically. So without further ado, let us get into this video. And like I said, if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe. <laughs> And yeah, I know, creased shirt and all, we're going to get into this video. I don't need the judgment. We don't judge each other here. It's a judge judgment-free zone. So I hope you guys like the crease. If not, just listen when you see me. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> but anyways, let us get into this office or home office makeover video. Yep, let's do it. guys so this room was a mess and to start a makeover one thing you want to do is you want to clear out anything that could obstruct you from seeing the room for what it is and help you visualize in the room so it's always nice if you can clear out the whole room i know some of us can't do it all the time in my living room makeover i couldn't clear out the couch i will link that video up here and down below where you guys can see how it went about it i just basically put the furniture in the middle as well as my bedroom makeover i put the bed like in the middle and then painted and did everything around the bed and then i just put it in place in the end so it is still doable but where you can try and empty out the room so this took me a while but for you obviously it's gonna take one split second for me to clear out this room and yes i will give you guys a chance in a moment to judge how this room looked before because wow i judged myself for it and but don't be too harsh but feel free to judge and if you have this room in your home don't be ashamed i'm not ashamed of putting it here on my channel although i should be but this is just my reality it is a truth of what happens when I make over one room to another to another everything gets pushed into one room and everything gets thrown into one room and that one room is basically where I throw things that I don't need from other rooms but this is basically the last room in my house that I'm working on but however on this channel it doesn't look like the last room because 
I worked on my second last room off camera. I haven't uploaded it yet because I'm not done with it and I want to wait for the finished product, but not this video. We're gonna post it as is. But anyways, moving right along, once you've emptied out the room, it's perfect time to start painting. Paint I have. I have one, two, three, four, <laughs> five liter tubs of white paint. So we're gonna paint the room white and then we're going to accent it with whatever other colors we can find. Let's get into it. You might be wondering, how do I pick out the paint for a room? I like my walls white. You might not like them white, but here's the thing. When you're picking out paint, you can go to the store and get a paint sample. It shouldn't cost you more than 100 rands to get a paint sample, or you could just get the, the paint up um, samples on the placard or the, the cardboard thing and then you can just tape it onto your wall and then look at it throughout the day see it in all different kind of lighting from morning to afternoon to the evening so you can see how this paint is gonna react in that room so I set off by painting the walls white and then after one coat I wanted to save up on paint and then I basically started uh, marking out my arch this was very it was very simple and very easy i thought it would be the most complicated part of what i want to do for this bedroom which is the arch but it's not so i wanted to add this nice future to the bedroom this accent future this accent piece without painting the entire wall you guys have seen um if you, i'm assuming you have watched all my videos if you haven't i full lime washed a wall in my living room or the walls in my living room and i want to carry out the same concept here just to add a bit of visual texture and all the kind of stuff so, um i already know how much i want how wide i want my arch to be but then i want to know how do i center it so now that i know the length i basically started marking off with my wood block um, the, the ends of it and ensuring that it's actually level with a spirit leveler so that my line is not going squiggly or going weird it stays straight and I know that okay when I connect these lines at the end they're gonna connect very well because everything was level to start with and then I basically used because I don't have a long spirit leveler I basically used the wood plank which I knew was straight to be my ruler now that I've marked off certain areas on the wall, it's time for me to just put the wood piece on the wall and just line it up all the way. And then now we're moving on to the arch. I thought this arch would be complicated, but it, it wasn't really complicated. I first tied a string on my pencil, then basically marked off um, half the... Uh, basically, I took the length of... Is it the length? No, the width of my arch. And then I divided it into two and that gave me the length of the strand of my uh, strip or my string or whatever you want to call it. In my case, I used a macrame cording. So it gave me the length of my macrame cording. So I tied the one to the pencil and then I put one on this um, push pins that are right behind me here. And then basically I just stuck it to the wall, marked the middle and the center point, put it right there and then ensured that the cord meets the one side to the other and then I just basically drew an arch. Ensure that you, you keep your pencil in the same angle. By doing that I ensure that the cord is actually at the tip of the pencil not at the top because when it's at the top you have a tendency to tilt your pencil at a certain angle and draw it in which is not going to match up so you want it to be like straight like perpendicular to the wall and then you want to draw your arch ensure you don't lift your hand and then you just draw from one side to the other and then once that is done sometimes you might go off a little bit you can just always go back to the one side and draw it back and then make adjustments and amendments to your arch and then now that we have drawn our arch it was time for us to tape the reason why i'm taping this up is because i want to basically create a distinctive line of where to stop with my white paint because i do not want to waste the little white paint that i have because remember we are spending zero rands on this makeover and we're using what we have and i wanted to stretch out the paint as much as i could by actually saving up by not painting the, the area where the arch is going to be because i would have been wasting a lot of paint because this room took me five coats i hate painting these renta gray walls white 
because they take a lot of coats and even in painting the room you gotta make sure that um, this technique I use which is I ensure that when I apply the paint I go from right to the top straight to the bottom no stopping no pausing because at some point in time when you start overlapping your paints the more coats you have in a certain section starts to be apparent because the other sections start to look patchy so i would suggest if you're gonna paint i'm not a painting expert i just tried this method and it worked out for me hopefully maybe it will work out for you so you don't get those patches so just start from the top don't stop go to the bottom all right now that the walls are painted it's time for us to focus on the arch i was so excited about the arch even if i was beat up even when i was beat up about this I was just excited to actually start painting the arch so i'm going to be using the faux lime wash technique that i used for my living room i'm going to be using it for my arch as you can see it's right behind me i love it i'm proud of it so basically the technique is very simple i go into detail in it in my living room makeover so if you want more detail on how i use this technique i'll link the video up here and down below for you but just a simple explanation basically i just use whatever paint i want to use and then I mix it up with white paint and then we use a sponge basically to mix them up and blending so if you are into makeup this is a project for you you can do it if I can do it you can do it all the other projects basically if I can do it you can basically do it as well so this paint that I'm using I will be recycling the paint that I used in my entryway makeover in case you guys haven't seen that video as well I added a geometric pattern wall to uh, pattern to my wall and then I painted my walls green this green paint is called pumpkin shell by Durham so if you, you want you like the paint get a tester for it and then you can basically test it on your home and see if it'll come out the way you like it to and then you can basically paint your walls the same and this is nice and uh, uh, like adjustable if you like it if you want more of the green and the darkness you can add more of that and less of the white paint if you want a nice balance you can go with the an equal amount of the paint the color paint versus the white paint or if you want it brighter and lighter use more of the white paint and less of the color paint and that's how you do the faux lime wash method um using paint which is very much affordable and if you want more detail into it i go through this through my living room makeover which is not done it still has a couple of episodes that need to come up as well like the couch the, the, the living room it's basically the furniture items that still need to be done but anyways if you're interested in this technique and you want more details like i said i will have it linked down below in the description box click on my living room makeover it's also a whole playlist if you want to check it out But anyways moving right along like i said we're not spending any money on this makeover we're gonna start customizing a couple of things you guys saw my pep home shop with me video and the shopping haul i basically included uh the cut board that's right behind me to to the video but however i started to customize it by actually coloring the border sorry about that they're children making a noise outside There's this fly that keeps annoying me but anyways hopefully they will keep it down anyways uh, I basically painted the frame of uh, the cockboard to the same color as the wall or the arch just so you can have this nice uh, monochrome feel it's like a floating like pin board so I like that so I put it in there and then another thing that I decided to paint is I got a broken mirror from Deco Fern when I went to Deco Fern throughout the shop with me video and I also when I also got the cabinetry which I showed you guys last week of me upcycling and fixing the bits of pieces that were damaged which is right behind me don't think you guys can see it but I posted it on my my channel last week I'll link that video up here and down below as well I basically also got a broken mirror so I decided since it's broken in two places let me add a bit of detail and make 
I make it intentional basically and then I painted it with one color that is the same color as the walls in my living room that I full lime washed with another color the same color as my entryway and then added a nice gold detailing around the the, the bits and pieces that I actually added um, the glue to so that is how we actually upcycled this mirror I will go into great detail about how I created this mirror comment down below if you want a whole separate video of how I DIY this mirror and upcycled it so anyways so comment down below if you want that to be a whole video i don't mind uploading it next week and then we can just i can just show you guys how i upcycled this broken mirror into what it is now and then another item that we're upcycling is i had this shelf that i hung up in my kitchen but i did a poor job at it so we're gonna steal this not really steal we're gonna rob this shelf from the kitchen and move it to the um office space and then we're just gonna stack up our shelves as well so yeah let's start attaching shelves to the wall this is not the only one i have i have a picture shelf thing that i had gotten for my bathroom renovation and i forgot to tell the people to hang it up and i was scared of drilling into my new tiles so i don't even know where that shelf is to make matters worse yes this is an organized mess by the way it's messy but it's kind of organized i know where everything is except for the shelf <laughs> okay i know it can't be here can it it definitely cannot be here um let's see oh perfect that we bumped into this because that's where my wall anchors are yeah other anchors i was talking about so i'm not a fan of having anchors on the wall but how are we gonna hang this this way okay yeah didn't even know if that would work or not so it's gonna be like that i don't like how this looks i should have painted these maybe i should paint them or just leave them as is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see. They're not that bad, are they? Me trying to convince myself. If I hate them, I'll paint them. I kid you not, amongst all of this, there'll be a different video for the organization of this because I can't right now. There. Here's the shelf. Oh boy. Can't get it out with one. Oh, okay. Being smacked in the face. I got this from Mr. Price Home two years ago. And two years ago, it was 160. So here's a hack if you do not want to get your walls dirty. You just put a paper, drill in whatever you want to drill in, like tape it up here, and then it catches all the dust so you don't have to wipe your walls after. So now I can just simply remove the tape and then close the dust in here. And that's a little that I just have to dust off as opposed to the whole wall. And then we can just clean this out. I don't have to clean my floors because everything is in here. this beautiful mirror rectangular mirror it's simple i'm not gonna paint it i'm not gonna do anything because i wanted to i want to put it on a white wall but i don't want the frame to catch a lot of attention hence why i'm keeping it white i got this mirror from Ele too she gifted this to me and it is nice to actually put it up because i want to put it in a place where i could easily take you know pictures of my outfits and all that kind of stuff basically putting it at a height where you can see the full body and the shoes and everything if you want to take a nice outfit of the day picture all right coming up to another piece that we're going to upcycle we have this office not office is it office desk study desk basically and the chair we're gonna upcycle both items starting off with the desk 
I have this um, contact paper that I used years ago in my uh, simple deco DIY videos where I actually created this uh, DIY tray and covered it in this contact paper and now there are sirens like did I pick the worst time to record in the morning it was so peaceful and it's going downhill for me right now but anyways um okay it sounds like they're far enough now but anyways we use this on the tray i will link that video up here and down below as well if you guys want to have a look at it and it has this marble um pattern on the contact paper we're basically going to cover our desk with this contact paper it might look tacky i do not want to lie but I feel like it fits in very well with the white shelving and like the table being there. So with that chair, I always had these fabrics that I kept like I was using them for back like as backdrop and everything. But let me be honest, I haven't been shooting much content that needs backdrop or all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be taking one of these fabric pieces which is like this floral nice pattern and I'm going to be using it for my chair. So all I need to do is basically take apart the chair and then take the, the one piece which is like this back piece that I'm sitting on right now, put it on the fabric and then cut out the length that I'll need and then we're going to be using staples to put this together. You could obviously upholster this but I just want this to be very DIY friendly, friendly towards you if you don't know how to um, sew anything and friendly to us those that don't have a sewing machine i have a sewing machine but i just wanted a quick way to actually upcycle this and make it user friendly for you as well all right another way to uplift your home or the room or the space in your home like i already said and i keep repeating myself you could actually change how you place your curtains instead of just putting them right directly above the window it actually dwarfs the room it makes it feel smaller or shorter shall i say but if you actually put your curtains way high close to your ceiling it elongates the room i've done this so many times on my channel that in my uh, bedroom makeover i say it so many times but i haven't shown you guys more times than i that i actually have done it but i have added this tip so many times on my channel you want to hang your curtains as high as possible and you also want the length of your curtains to basically kiss the floor if not maybe pull a little on the floor that adds a bit of luxurious touch to your room and in this case these curtains don't touch or kiss the floor but i don't mind because in this office we're gonna diy stuff we're gonna make a lot of mess there's gonna be a lot of dust and last thing i want is basically my curtains scraping off the dust on the floor so mine don't touch the floor that is a faux pas when it comes to interior design but i'm doing it because it's functional in your case if it's not for the purposes that i'm doing it for i would say let your curtains hang from from the top of your ceiling and kiss the floor or at most they can pull a little on the floor or have your curtains adjusted to the room that makes your room look and feel luxurious <music> Alright guys, that was our video for today. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys found it informative. I hope you guys took a few tips, took a few hacks and are going to run with it. Comment down below which tip or which hack you guys are going to use or which tip or which hack you didn't know of that you were mind blown by. But anyways, um, comment down below, like I said, if you want to see 
uh, the DIY or the makeover of that mirror where I colored it in different colors and all the kind of stuff. If you're interested in that video, comment down below and I'll upload it next week. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to even spend money at all if you're going to make over a room. Just simply paint it, upcycle whatever you can upcycle in your in your home move furniture pieces from a different room than the one you had it on and that's all you simply need so makeovers don't have to be expensive they don't have to be a lot of drama they don't have to be stressful they don't have to be you don't they don't have to be daunting to say the least you can easily get things done and i hope you guys saw that in this video and i'm glad i was able to put this video together and i'm glad that i actually accomplished this without spending money and let me be honest, some of these items I spent money on years ago and I never used them. I just kept them and I was like, oh, I was going to use them, I was going to use them. But I never got to. Uh, sorry about that, my laptop is just shutting off. I do hope you guys liked this video or loved it, shall I say. Give it a thumbs up if you did, it helps out my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you guys love this video and it's enough for you to subscribe. And I hope this content is for you and you stick around longer than just one video. And thank you for watching this video this far. And don't forget guys to be kind, love and light. And I'll see you guys next week in the next video. Bye!